All right, we just got here. I'm gonna show you the new Sand Shark anchor. This is a good anchor that extends to waist uh, deep water so that you can secure your jet ski to a sandbar. All right, the way this one works is you pull this up, you hold the handles up, and you bring it down. It's locked, okay? Then you could extend this a little longer, all right? We're gonna put it up to there, let's see. Yep, that looks about good, all right? So now you screw it in using your weight, all right? How far in you go into the sand determines how secure it's gonna be, all right? Another thing about this anchor is that it gets sand inside. So you have to maintain them, you gotta clean them because when the sand gets inside, that's when all these are gonna jam up on you and the locking level, all right? So, that looks about good there. That looks about good right there. You use a bungee for these, you don't use a straight line rope because if you use a straight line rope, it gets a whiplash effect and it could bend the anchor. Um, when you secure that, the loop, you don't tie it up to the top, you drop it, all right? If you tie it up to the top, it has leverage and it's gonna bend on you. So you drop it, all right? You don't tie it up here. And then you secure it onto your ski. So I'm gonna turn this around. We're gonna secure it onto the front of the ski. And I'm gonna show you the other anchors that I got for you guys. There you go. Nice and secure. Let me show you the other one. The next anchor I'm gonna show you is made by Sand Shark also. All right, this is a nice little compact anchor. See how it folds up? All right, with this one, turn this up. You slide this in, it's locked in place. All right, this one also has locking levels. All right, so if you have a deep, if you're in a deep area, you pull that level up and you let it lock. And you go to the second one and it's locked. See how far it extends? I like this one because it fits in the front of my FX and I got a auxiliary uh, tank in there, fuel tank, extra, so I got a, uh, you know, my real estate in there is tight. This one, also, you turn it, and you lock it into place. You screw it in as far as in you can get, and same thing with that other one. You put the loop up here, and you drop it. This one, you have to maintain also, all right? because it folds, sand gets inside, the stainless steel gets a layer of corrosion on it and it makes it hard to then lock into place and fold up. But let me take this one out and show you. When you're done riding and you get home, when you clean your motor out and you wash your ski, which I hope you do, especially when you ride salt water, you disassemble it, okay? You take it completely apart, all right? You hose all of this down, you let it dry, you let it sit outside, and then you spray this with the same exact thing that you spray your motor with. I like to use CRC 656. You spray it all down and you keep this looking like, like new. It works. It doesn't stop working. I've had this for some time. This shaft here is stainless steel, it doesn't bend anymore. The previous one was aluminum, so it used to bend. They don't bend anymore. I used this throughout a storm, a passing storm at this appearing island, and it did not bend on it.
right? So, put it back together and it's in place. You want to put it away. Look how compact that gets. Much smaller than that one. Okay? But, when you're in deep water, this one may not be sticking out of the water. Next anchor. I didn't bring all of them, but Waves RX makes these spike anchors. This one right here is made by Super Ride. All right, these small compact anchors you step on, you push into the sand, and you hook up onto your ski. Now, the reason why I don't like these too much is because right now, we're in knee deep water. I gotta go in here and push it down with my foot. I gotta hold on to the ski and kick this in. It, it gets a little, it, gets, it, it turns into a workout. All right. The other best thing that these are meant for are to hook up to the shore. All right. But when you hook up to the shore and the tide comes out, then your ski gets beached. And then that's when you start scraping the bottom of your ski. So that's why I'm not too thrilled about these. This one here is made by Super Rack. Um, Shorelock makes one. Waves RX makes a small spike. They're different sizes. I'm not too thrilled about them. I prefer these right here. All right, so next anchor. This is the Blue Cooper. All right, some people use the red one, which is smaller. The red one is for canoes. This one here is meant for PWC. When you buy this, this is all you get, is that anchor. You don't get the chain, you don't get the rope, the bungee, you don't get the clamps, all right? When you buy this, if you decide to go with this one, all right, you need to buy the shackle. You may have to drill the hole out because it's a special size, all right? That's not easy to find, all right? So you need the clamps. You need a chain. This chain is stainless steel. I got it on Amazon. And I got this rope from Amazon too. This is a good anchor. I've had this anchor since 2017. All right, it does work. It does work, but you need to set it up. If you don't have it set up properly, it's not going to work. It, it's gonna piss you off and you're gonna say it's a shitty anchor. And it's not, it's, it's really good, it's really good. I mean, it's tight on there. I can drag it. This is soft sand I'm in, I'm in but point it at me. You see me? I'm leaning back. Now, it's, it's dragging a little bit, but it does its job. And that's the Blue Cooper. This anchor right here is the Sand Shark Jaws, all right? This is about 99 bucks. This comes with everything that you need. The line comes with an integrated bungee. It comes with the clamps. You don't need to buy a chain because there's a counterweight in here, all right? So you don't need a chain for this. This works despite people telling you, some people may say it doesn't work, it does work. I've used it plenty of times, it works. All right, now the only thing is that it could be made better. And that I'll tell you straight out. I've had this probably a little over a year. All right, this is supposed to lock open. What locks it is that plastic pin there and it no longer locks. So it doesn't stay open anymore. The claw counterweights, I actually have to put silicone on there. So I buried it all in silicone and the screws I covered in silicone also to protect it because the handle counterweight rusted on me. It got corrosion inside. Right now I'm not gonna throw it out here to show you how it hooks because it doesn't have a counterweight in here. I took it out. There's two screws in there and I took it out because I wanna clean it all up and uh, put it back in here, paint it, um, protect it better from salt water. Somebody this morning sent me pictures of this bolt right here, all corroded and rusted. 
Um, again, you get what you pay for. When I first got this, it was 80 bucks. I think it's 100 bucks now, and this is everything that you need. So if you're within the country and you don't do saltwater riding, this is a good anchor. But if you constantly do saltwater riding, you may have corrosion, uh, a corrosion issue with this, all right? But it's a good anchor, it works. For, the, for what you pay for it, it works. All right, guys, so I finally found the owner of this Mantis anchor. She, uh, it comes with a bag. It comes with a bag, with that bag? Yep. Oh, Mantis Marine. It came with that rope that's on it. Oh, it, oh okay, and it comes with the shackles? Um, I added this to it, because I think- Yes, this is a shackle, well, I so you- lost, I lost the one they sent came off and I uh -huh. just lost the anchor. So I put my own on. That oh, okay, one. okay. This is the tip. So that's a tip. Okay, so but there you go. Be careful not to lose that. Yeah, yeah, because if you lose that, it'll bounce around on your ski and it could do some damage. Yeah. Yeah. But it's supposed to be completely collapsible. But like I said, I don't collapse it because that's just, it's too hard. So you just put the whole thing in that bag there and just carry it around like yep. that. But you put this here, yep. that protective. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> all right yeah but she she was showing me her anchor so she left her pants halfway down <laughs> so you just put it in the front just like that yep in the bag with the for a while i had a noodle on it because i lost the one yeah the one thing and then i or, i went ahead and ordered like two or three more just so if i lose another one now it, it, this is stainless steel, right? It should be. Yeah, that because that's why they're so expensive. Yeah. But you don't remember how much how much it is, right? I but think it, it was like two, right, two, I think. Two hundred? Yeah, I know. It because it's stainless steel. It's got to be stainless. No. Stainless steel is more expensive than aluminum. Cheap, but if I knew, I was thinking that's what cheap papers. Yeah, yeah. No, this isn't cheap. This is definitely an expensive anchor i already knew that that's why i couldn't find anybody with it and manny told me that you had one i'm like okay i gotta go over there and check it out yeah and this yeah that pin pulls up yep yeah, and you could take that triangular section off so it's, it's you've had it there so long that it's, it doesn't want to come off. it doesn't come off yeah but it, it will i'll get some yeah with an easy tap it with something and it'll yeah. come out Well, there you have it. There you yep. have it. Right there, the Mantis 2.5. Yep, 2.5. Yep. All right, this is how quick it hooks. Go a little further back. I want to kill you with this bagger here. Look at it. That's how quick it fits in. That's it. All right. What we got here is brand new. It just started selling two days ago, three days ago. This is the Wave RX Dry Anchor. It's all stainless steel. All of it, everything. Uh, it doesn't come with the line. I added the line, all right? This is the compact traveling way uh, precision. It comes with a, with, in a nice little case. Um, the way it works is you open it up this pin here you slide it open you turn it up you join the other pin there then you turn the pin and you lock it now i'm gonna say this right now this pin right here is gonna get sand and it's gonna be hard to close this pin. All right, just like right now. I'm trying to close it and because I was using it before, it's kind of hard. There you go. It locked, locked into place. So Waze RX, if you're watching this right now, you guys need to work on this. Either make that pin a little smaller or make the hole bigger so that it's not so tight around there because this is gonna get surface corrosion and sand and people are gonna get frustrated with this, all right? But right now it's locked, it's locked. It's five pounds, they do sell a seven and a half pound version for Sea-Doo switches, 
pontoons and boats. It's a 5,000 pound anchor and it weighs seven and a half pounds. This one weighs five pounds. All right, this is strictly made for PWCs. And this thing is solid. I already tested it out a few times, so I know it's gonna do good. There you go. See that? That is a hole right there. That's a hole. That's a hole. That is super tight. I, I can't tell you that this anchor is great. It's awesome. Waze RX, you did a great job with this. Um, just, you gotta work on that pin, dude. So let me take it out. So you got a whole bunch of sand on it. That's the pin I'm talking about. I did add grease to it when I got it this week. See what I mean? There you go. And that's how you close it. There you go. It's locked. It's locked. It locked fine. It's brand new. It locked fine. But in the future, after years of having this, I see an issue there. So we got to work on that. I could fix this myself. I could sand it down and make it smaller enough for it to fit through that little loop in there easily. But uh, I don't think your average person is gonna do that. All right, so because of that, my winner for sandbar anchors is the ultimate anchor. Why? Because it's a stainless steel shaft, it's small, they change the levels, it's not a pin anymore, it's a level, and it easily opens up. And I've had this long enough to say that. There it is. Works perfectly fine. The other one is half plastic, I don't know if there'll be any future problems with it, but it does work. Um, it's been working on me perfectly fine. I do go out a lot riding, and it's held up pretty, pretty well. It's held up pretty well. But like I said, all these anchors need to be cleaned up after a ride. All the sand needs to be taken out, and it needs to be sprayed. This right here is my winner. The Sand Shark Ultimate Anchor. Thanks for watching, guys.